Okay, what's up guys? We're gonna do a quick install on the Ford Bronco fast track mount. We actually just did an uninstall video after having this in here for about eight months, so we're gonna jump back and reinstall it. So the first step, you have this top plate and your two support legs. So the first step is just installing and connecting the top plate to the support legs. These support legs mount to the top plate using 1032 socket heads. And everything that you need comes included with the kit. The wrench, the alcohol wipe to clean the dash. The legs have 3M VHB pre-installed for the adhesive install, which most everyone goes with because it's reliable and you don't need to drill into the dashboard. Okay, so we have the fully assembled mounting base and we have our installation indexing pin. This will help you line up the bracket on the dashboard because we really have one shot to get this 3M VHB mounted perfectly square. So that's what this pin will help us do. So the first thing we'll do is screw this into the accessory ready hole. You don't wanna go all the way in, just about halfway so it's secure. Okay, so now that we have the indexing pin installed, we could remove the 3M tape. So before I do that, I'm just gonna do a dry run and, and place this thing down to get a feel for what it's like lining it up. There you go. So this indexing pin helps keep it centered and keep it in straight, keep it straight. So once this adhesive makes its bond, you could remove this screw and install the accessory ready screw that really locks this into place. The first thing we're gonna do is clean the dash with the included alcohol wipe that comes with the kit. All we wanna do is get any debris off the dash, and if you've ever cleaned your dashboard with anything like, you know, armor all or any type of surface protectant, you really make sure, you have to make sure that all of that is removed completely from the dash, or else the 3M, adhe uh, 3M adhesive will not bond well. Next, we'll remove the 3M film from the support legs. As you can see, I already got it started just to make the video flow a little bit smoother. There's one, there is two, and now you wanna be nice and careful to line this up perfect. You want this front edge to line up dead nuts with the front edge of the dashboard. I'll go right over this indexing screw. There we go, boom, and there you have it. Now this is lined up perfect. What you really wanna do is give this 24 hours to cure before you start installing accessories. Um, but for the sake of the video, we'll go ahead and get everything set up. Next, I'll remove the alignment indexing screw that we used to make sure that we installed it properly on the first run using the 3M tape, because you don't wanna miss. And then we have our included quarter 20 flathead screw to secure the bracket in place. And there you have it, another successful install of our FT12. It's our fast track mount for the Ford Bronco. As you can see, it's incredibly secure using only the accessory ready mounting hole and 3M VHB. You do not have to put any holes in your dashboard to mount this thing and it's not going anywhere. We do have through holes in these support legs if you did want to use nuts and bolts to do the install, um, but it's not necessary. Another great feature is our fast track interface. You can very quickly add or remove your device mounts using this interface. A lot of times you have guys out there that want to mount a phone, a tablet, their CB radio, but they don't want it up there all the time. This allows you to very quickly re remove, move, or modify your setup um, very quickly. So if you have any other questions, let us know. And uh, there it is.